Right, so if you're wondering how to calibrate, this is this is going to be an easy guide, simple as anything. I'll put this on YouTube as well so more people know what the hell they're doing. So, calibration. For all the people that can never get the calibration perfectly, it's split into two things. Video offset and audio offset. Um, as you can read here, it says, changes when the song starts. If the songs are starting too late, increase the audio lag. If the songs are starting too early, decrease the audio lag. Video offset moves the invisible hit window of notes. Increase if you hit notes early. Decrease if you hit notes late. Literally, that is that is a really simple explanation. But if you want to see it in practice, if you're still a little bit thrown off by that, um, let me let me say something first. Actually, this is, this is quite important. Um, if you have a monitor or a TV that has a delay, for example, when you click down. If there's a little bit of a delay, this will not fix that. It will not fix that. You, if you've got a delay on your computer, uh, on your, you know, from the game to, you know, the computer or the computer to the TV, it won't fix that. So you've got to get like it's usually it's not a, there's not really a delay from the guitar. It's usually not that, but um, but yeah, if you've got a if you've got a delay on your monitor or your TV, you you, you got to think about getting a one with uh, a lower MS. Um, response time because that's never going to get fixed and it's just going to be awkward to play. Um, but yeah, if you've got a good TV, good monitor, really good refresh rate, really good you know low MS um, response time, then let's get you started. So go into the game, slow ride, right? Let's play it. So what you want to do is um, you want to make it all in sync. So for me right now, everything's absolutely perfectly in sync. Do 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 bo 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 bo. Right, let me show you guys what this does. So, the audio offset, that's on 35. That's perfect for me. It might be different for you. I don't know, but it's perfect for me. I'll show you what happens when I increase it. Let's put it on, like, 201. Let's go. You'll, sh you'll see what it does here. So, we've just increased the audio lag. You see? Now the audio is going really early. Really early. Really, really early. That's what increasing it does. Now let's decrease it. Uh, well, you, you know what's going to happen. It's going to come late if I decrease it below 35. 35 for me is bang on. Have a play around. There's no right or wrong here because some people like to hear the, the sound a little bit earlier, a little bit late. Um, and also different sound systems and different, you know, headsets and different connections to how you're, you know, to the computer or the console or anything. It's all different. So um, audio, have a play around, find something that works. But yeah, that, that's the basics. If you increase the audio lag, then it's going to come earlier. If you decrease it, it's going to go later. Um, video offset. Now, this is one that so many people get wrong, and it infuriates me because it is so simple. It's so simple, but the game makers, I don't know, the, uh, the original game makers, uh, you know, Activision and whatnot, and, um, and Harmonix, they don't describe what this does correctly. So a lot of people have never understood what the video lag actually does, but it's really simple. And thankfully, like I say, Clone Hero earlier tells you what the video lag actually does. All it does is change the hit window. So I've got mine on five now. Let me show you what happens when I put it on, let's say, 150. Let's go. Let me show you what happens. See how late I'm hitting this? You see how, you see how late that is? That's all it does. It moves the hit window. So, um, you know, instead of the hit window being even, so you can hit a note a little bit late, a little bit early, you know, that's the leeway you've got. Instead, it just shifts it up or down, depending if you increase it or decrease it. That's all it does. So if you like hitting notes bang on time, you know, with no, you know, the same amount you can hit it early, the same amount you can hit it late, anywhere between about zero and 10. You, know, you never want to change it, anything around there. It's between 0 and 10. I have it on 5. I feel like that's the perfect balance. But have a play with that. But un unless you really like visually seeing notes get hit late, there's no need to change it from between 0 and 10. Um, and that's it. That's how you calibrate. It's, it's really it's not that hard. Also, in this, game, in this game, you can do get hardware latency. And this can guess your audio lag. So click on that. It says 39. I found that 35 is the best for me. But yeah, that's very close. So click on that. It's really good. Also, um, show hit window. Watch this when I enable that. 
It actually shows that's how much I've got to play with. I can hit a note that early or that late. And as you can see here again, when I um, increase the video lag by a lot, you'll see the hit window changes. Now I can't hit anything early. I can only hit it late. So hopefully that helps you guys. Hopefully that helps you guys uh, find the perfect calibration. It's not that hard. It's just, it's you know, once you figure out exactly what everything means and what it does. So good luck. Calibrate your game. GG.